guys and today I'm doing the not so fun task um, of going over to our old house and basically trying to get back our security deposit. So I have basically a whole bucket of cleaning supplies. I have our vacuum which is absolutely amazing. We bought a new one and um, other than that just have like a Swiffer for the tile floors and everything and I'm pretty much ready to go. But we have a little over a week and a half left to be able to have access to that house so I'm gonna show you guys some of the tips and tricks that we have done over the past few years every time that we've moved in college and now this move here the last time that we did this much extensive cleaning and stuff in an apartment we got everything but like $200 back on our security deposit so I totally think it's worth it to take the time to clean fix anything that is damaged make sure that it's like perfect for the next person because honestly whoever owns it like the landlord I think will really appreciate that so let's go ahead and head over there I need to get some gas on the way but then it's gonna be showtime over there so definitely dirty because they took all of our appliances and all of our furniture but you can hear how much it echoes in here again because there's nothing in here so definitely gonna focus one room at a time and then I'll just close the rooms as I go along so the first I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna spray down the showers because it takes probably at least like 20 to 30 minutes to like really set and get everything clean so that you can like wash it off with water I actually watched a YouTube video on what to mix together. I'm like literally shook by how well it worked. And it's literally only two ingredients that you probably have at your house already. Just got one of these. We already had one of these spray bottles and it's literally, I just eyeballed it. You can actually look up how much you need in the videos, but it's just dish soap, white vinegar and water. And you just put it in one of these and shake it up. And then you just spray it all over the shower. I, again, like I've used like harsher chemicals on bathroom stuff forever and this works so much better so here's the shower so let's go ahead and get started you're just literally gonna spray it on everything let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back and rinse all this off with water and get it all ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it let it sit here and we're gonna get started on something else so something else that you guys have maybe done but I always try to do when we're leaving an apartment or a house in this case is to do putty and if you have the paint color to match it go over the curtain rod holes that are in the wall or if you hung curtains maybe you didn't so as you can see the holes are not that big but you can definitely see them. So making sure to just fill them in with putty and then going over them with your scraper is going to make it so that even if you don't have the paint color that matches, it really shows that you cared and made an effort. So the nice thing about this putty is that it is pink when it starts out when you put it on the wall and then it actually turns white when it's ready to paint or when it's finished. So now I really like this one the best. This is the brand of it. I just got it at Lowe's. You can pretty much get at any hardware store. And then here's the scraper. So these are the tools I'm gonna use and um, I'm gonna go ahead and patch those holes. So it looks weird because they're purple right now but they will turn white when they're finished and then if you have the color that matches the paint it'll just go right over this or you can just leave it if you're in an apartment so if you have a scratch or a scuff on a wall typically you can use a magic eraser so we don't have a ton of like scuffs and stuff on the walls but anything that we do have i am just going to try to cover them or like i said just like if you use a magic eraser it honestly gets rid of them really easily so that's what I'm gonna do next. So to clean out the shower, I am gonna be using a face mask. I already have one because we do um, have mandated face masks right now. So 
So for areas like this that are honestly pretty dirty, I like to use the shop vac actually, rather than a regular vacuum just because it's usually used in the garage, cars, whatever, and it also has this nice brush feature that you can put on the trim. So this is what I'm gonna use for this room and I might use it in other rooms as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. So something that I have been loving for this stone backsplash and also for the granite countertops is these Everspring wipes that I found at Target. They are naturally fragranced with plant extracts and essential oils. So there aren't really like harsh chemicals in them, which is really nice. Like really strong scented candles or scented fumes like make my allergies go crazy. So something that's lighter that doesn't really have any harsh chemicals in it or anything is gonna be perfect. All right, so I have been here for a few hours now. I am starving, so I'm gonna take a break go grab something to eat. I think I've earned it for now, so I will be back in a little bit. Just picked up one of my favorite places to go for something quick, Chipotle. So day two of cleaning. Um, today I am going to focus on vacuuming, all the finishing touches kind of stuff, and we'll pretty much be out of there. I would say about 95% of our stuff is now moved to the new house, which is super exciting. We love how cozy the new place is. It's so cute. And once everything is decorated, organized, and everything's put like in its place, I do want to do like a little mini home tour kind of thing, just because we're so excited about it. So here I go back over to the other place. So once your vacuuming is done, what I always will do is use my Swiffer because it is top floor. So I just set everything up. So I have my Swiffer and then I have those wet Swiffer pads that I'm going to use. So I'm going to get started with that. The next thing I'm going to do is do the glass stove top. The best thing that I have found to, to use on this is this Scotch Bright uh, glass cooktop polish and it polishes it it gets rid of like stuck on stains all that kind of stuff like that burnt water which we kind of had a couple of those and um scotch bright also has these little pads that have like an abrasive service on one side and like a sponge on the other side so um this combined with the glass cooktop cleaner literally works better than anything else that i tried it actually worked really really well before the house showing and i'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time because obviously we're not cooking on this stovetop anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and get to work And it basically looks like brand new at this point. It's super shiny, like you can literally see the microwave in it. This stuff definitely does the trick. So the thing that I've found works the best for like the baseboards, trims, doors, like all that kind of stuff. And actually the drywall walls of the garage are just these Mr. Clean Magic erasers. They are magic, I'll, I'll be honest, <laughs> so. Um, I'm just going along and kind of like scrubbing at the baseboards and the trim with these magic racers just to kind of freshen everything up because, you know, baseboards and trim usually do get pretty dirty. Should really finish off the room. So it's been about a day now since we've officially given the keys back to the rental company and we are finally able to kind of focus on this house 
and get things organized, you know, sell trash, anything we need to. And it kind of has set in that that chapter has closed and this new one has opened, which is super exciting. It's interesting. It's a weird feeling. It's just always a strange moment to see the house where you were living or the apartment where you were living is empty and you close the door for the last time and you know, you walk away and you go on to see what's coming next. I think it's been kind of cool to kind of vlog and video some of the process and I want to film uh, more of the process here too because I haven't really done much yet but that is going to be coming in the future. Thanks so much for watching this vlog. I can't wait to make the next one.